शरणे शरमणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय ऑल माई थी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड और बिलउड घनश्याम महाराज और पाथ में कटु लिब्रेशन पूज्य बात गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ ड्यूटीज जय स्वामी नारायण एज एवरी संडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग समथिंग अबाउट भक्त चिंतामनीस सम सिलेक्टेड चैप्टर्स विच कंटेन्स एनी मिरेकल्स हैपन इन लाइफ ऑफ ड्यूटीज ऑफ भगवान स्वामी नारायण Sadguru Nisgudanand Swami had written many many incidents related to miracles this miracles is not the actual miracles but this is the this is the uh we can say that this is the not a miracle but it is an evidence meaning a proof that Bhagwan Swami Narayan is presence and not only is he is present forever but he is ever ready for saving and protecting and helping his devotees now today 137th chapter of bhakta chintamani sadguru nisgudan swami had read down a many incident which happened in life of some santos some devotees and some female devotees as well as some child devotees today nisgudan swami in this chapter <coughs> writes about a uh, devotees whose name was a uh, kala bhakt kala bhakt was the devotee of bhagwan swami narayan at his time but the problem was that he was alone a devotee in his village there was no one in in the village was the devotee of bhagwan swami narayan not only that but no one in the village to whom we can say that person is a genuine person or a gentleman meaning besides this kala bhagat all the other villagers they are the non believer they could not believe in god not on that <coughs> but even they disturb and make many problems in life of kalapagat so that kalapagat could not even worship bhagwan swami narayan happily this is what the situation kalapagat was a farmer he has his own farm a long land but as he was the devotees of bhagwan swami narayan and that is why his brothers as well as the other villagers they how simply they have uh they have no any kind of feeling with this kala bhagat they always oppose in each and every matter with kala bhagat <coughs> but kala bhagat had no problem with the others as he had no any task he had nothing to do with others he had only concern with bhagwan swami narayan and his santo whenever bhagwan swami narayan santo pass by his village he definitely invite those santos and uh forcefully request to stay in his house and santo stay for days two days four days you know uh, at a week and due to this time kala bhagat forget all the work his farm work everything and he served the santo as well as he listened katha from the santo all the day and because as he had listened much more from the santo now he himself is habituated to doing katha 
just as santo doing katha the same manner kala bhagat is also now habituated and not habituated but he <coughs> he himself attain such a highest or higher spiritual status so that he can also preach the others the divine glory of bhagwan swami narayan what is the greatness of bhagwan swami narayan and how bhagwan swami narayan is supreme this is what the kala bhagat's higher situation in our spirituality and that is why kala bhagat is also when he was engaged himself in the worshiping of bhagwan swami narayan and after performing aarti and all the daily rituals he himself gathered all of his family member and he preached them the divine uh, words of bhagwan swami narayan meaning a uh, codes and conducts prescribed in shiksha patra as well as the other books in the same way once upon a day kala bhagat he tried to preach even his brothers his brothers they had no satsang they had no concern with bhagwan swami narayan not only that but they even did not believe in bhagwan swami narayan that bhagwan swami narayan is a bhagwan himself <coughs> but kala bhagat has no worry kala bhagat knew about the situation what was in the minds of his brothers but as his he can he understood that this is my duty and that is why he preach kalabhagat was preaching to his brothers about the divine nectarious knowledge of bhagwan swami narayan but his brothers they have no faith in bhagwan swami narayan that's why they oppose him kalabhagat's brothers they not only oppose kalabhagat but even they say to kalabhagat even now from this day if you could not stop this worshiping and chanting bhagwan swami narayan's name and his glory and greatness and if you could not stop to preaching others <coughs> we will do uh, something so that you cannot live in this village now kalabhagat had no problem with that if any kind of misery if he encounter he had a trust on bhagwan swami narayan he firmly he had faith in bhagwan swami narayan that he is the all doer no one besides bhagwan swami narayan can do anything to him this is what his firm faith in bhagwan swami narayan now as he believe bhagwan swami narayan is the all doer and he has trust that any kind of misery or any kind of hardship he may uh, he may encounter in his life but bhagwan swami narayan will definitely protect him this is what is trust in bhagwan swami narayan now kalabhagat's brother they oppose him and they always try to disturb try to make any problems in life of kalabhagat now after some days kalabhagat's brothers they had decided to forcefully cover kalabhagat's land into their land now at the time there is no any kind of paperwork and that's why there is no any particular proof that this land is uh, of a particular person and that is why his uh, kalabhagat's brother they have cheated kalabhagat and by cheating they have declared that this is not kalabhagat's farm but this is ours and as the other villagers they are also non believers they have no concern with bhagwan swami narayan and that's why they have also a religious allergy with this kala bhagat and that is why they all the other villagers they also agree with the other brothers but they did not stay on the side of kala bhagat and that is why uh, one side kala bhagat is alone and the other side the whole village the all of the people of the village they uh they stay on the opposite side of kalabhagat now kalabhagat still have no worry kalabhagat as a duty of bhagwan swami narayan he took away of a cart 
now when kalabagad went to court for claiming his own land but before that his brothers and the other villagers they have bribed the judge they have provided they have gives given some bribe to judge and that's why judge also declared that the judge had given decision if the land is of kalabagad then kalabagad should have to hold a red iron ball in his hand and he had to walk around the border of his own farm if the farm is of kalabagad then bhagwan helps him and he had no any damage on his hand now this is what the condition this is the decision or declaration by the court now when kalabagad uh, when the day uh, decided by the court all of the villagers not only the villagers but from the people many people from the outside they also gather at the field where the kalabagad's farm was the huge crowd gather only to show what had happened now the judge himself the other court members and the villagers as well as kalabagad's brothers they all stood there and one red had iron ball meaning a uh, iron ball <coughs> waiting many kilos now that iron ball was put on a heat and because of heat the iron ball become a red when kalabagad uh, <coughs> when one can see this iron ball as it was a red then one can easily grasp that no not a person but even you pour a water on it then water immediately become a vapor but water even could not make any impact on the red iron ball this is what the hotness of the ball now this hot ball kalabagad had to hold this ball and he had to walk on his own field this is the condition now kalabagad had no worry but he as the duties of bhagwan swami narayan he he was praying to bhagwan swami narayan and bhagwan swami narayan himself divinely present before kalabagad and kalabagad uh, and bhagwan swami narayan himself said to kalabagad don't worry about anything and just hold this iron ball even though the ball was very hot but it could not make any kind of damage on your hands and as you are true devotee of mine i'll protect you from any kind of danger now kalabagad has a trust on words of bhagwan swami narayan as well as he has from faith in bhagwan swami narayan that's why without any hesitation he had immediately hold the red iron ball in, on in his hand with both of palm he had hold the ball and he had started to walk on his own field now around the border kalabagad walked with the surprise of uh, many people who gathered there to watch this live love incident not an incident but the this the all the people they understood this 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 was the miracle if bhagwan could not present then this will not happen and <coughs> with the surprise of all those uh, all those people who gathered there to watch this what had happening and in the presence of judge kalabagat put the ball after covering his land after walking on his land and he saw the he saw his both uh, both of palms to the people that i have nothing on my palm my both hands are without damage and then those uh meaning uh 
brothers of this kalabagat as well as the other villagers they have a very hesitation and they have uh, <coughs> a problem with kalabagat's devotion they all become surprised and they even slightly believe that bhagwan swami narayan was a true god <coughs> and as kalabagat also was a true devotee of bhagwan swami narayan that is why bhagwan swami narayan himself protected kalabagat in this way this incident happened in life of kalabagat but many times if we could not given up our own religion if we could not given up our own faith our own belief in our bhagwan swami narayan as well as our presently guru and that is why if we keep from faith and if we stay on his side he definitely will protect us from any kind of dangers just as bhagwan swami narayan had protected this kalabagat's hands from burning in the same way if we stay on the side of bhagwan as well as our guru then bhagwan as well as our guru ji will definitely protect us from any kind of danger now the another incident written in the same chapter that was a uh, that was the another devotees he was a bula bhagat from the village of nandasan now he was also a farmer but this is the different situation bula bhagat was very old man even without the stick he could not walk not only that but his he had no vision for far he could slightly watch he had not fully watched like us not only that but he had no any kind of knowledge even the knowledge of directions like uh, north south east west <coughs> but this bula bhagat was a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and he has a firm faith and trust in words as well as in the form of bhagwan swami narayan now <coughs> once upon a day he desired to have darshan of bhagwan swami narayan but he had no any kind of condition so that he can walk to bhagwan swami narayan because bhagwan swami narayan at the time bhagwan was traveling day to day bhagwan mostly not stay on one place for a long period of time and that is why it is not confirmed that after some days when one could reach from his village to to the destination he had gazed that bhagwan swami narayan may be in the gadra but at the time bhagwan <coughs> may not be in gadra but because at the time there is no we know that there was no any phone there is no mobiles there is nothing and that is why it is very tough to <coughs> very tough to get a message of bhagwan as well as one's relatives now bula bhagat had no any knowledge where bhagwan swami narayan right now was but as he had a desire to have darshan of bhagwan swami narayan now without any preparation meaning what he'll uh, he will eat and drink along the way how he uh, cross all of his days from the way without any aid without any help as he was an old person even he could not walk properly and still how can he reach there where bhagwan swami narayan was even he could not have no perfect method that bhagwan swami narayan was stay in particular place but still he follow his desire now bula bhagat started to walk from his village he lived he, uh, he left his village and he crossed the another one village now the time was at noon he had hunger and thirst but he had no food no water nothing else 
he had only his stick in his hand and he had even no knowledge of the direction on which direction he had to walk there is no any help even he could not know the actual place where he want to go and that is why even he could not ask anybody about his destination meaning about the way of his destination this is what the situation when one can see such a person then definitely they believe this is a mad he has no intelligence but on the way of religion this is the <coughs> most intelligent person why because he has a knowledge of bhagwan swami narayan and that is why he had attained all kind of knowledge he had no need to grasp materialistic knowledge of the way of the direction of the his daily needs there is nothing because bhagwan himself provide him and as he had trust in bhagwan swami narayan he was walking not on the way but he was walking on the uh, on the on the faith of bhagwan uh, his faith on bhagwan swami narayan and that is why as he had trust on bhagwan swami narayan bhagwan himself worried about bula bhagat situation now bhagwan swami narayan was at the time in buj and from there bhagwan swami narayan took a another form bhagwan himself become a brahmin bhagwan swami narayan had took a form of brahmin and he also joined bula bhagat from the way now walking from some distance uh, walking after some distance bhagwan in the form of brahmin he asked something about bula bhagat what's your name and from which village you coming and uh, where would you want to go in this way bhagwan himself asked anything uh, everything about bula bhagat and bula bhagat as he was very kind and he he was very uh <coughs> easy person and that's why he gave all kind of information to bhagwan in the form of brahmin bula bhagat did not know that this is bhagwan himself and bhagwan provided him food and water bhagwan in the form of brahmin took a uh, food as well as water with him and he gave food and water to bula bhagat now after one village to another when they walking after some days when they reach to buj along the way from his village to buj bhagwan himself was providing food water any other need everything to bula bhagat and when they reach to buj and bhagwan swami narayan in the form of brahmin he indicate the <coughs> exit house in which bhagwan swami narayan stay and from a very <coughs> near distance bhagwan in the form of brahmin disappear now bula bhagat as bhagwan had already pointed that in this house bhagwan swami narayan was stay and now bula bhagat without even giving any glance behind where the brahmin goes or anything or ask anything to brahmin but he just walking towards the his destination now when he entered the house and bhagwan swami narayan as well as some santos as well as some devotees uh, in an assembly he saw then after having darshan of bhagwan swami narayan bula bhagat forget all of his tiredness because he walked from very long distance but still he forget everything now he engage himself in doing a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan 
he was prostrating before bhagwan swami narayan and santo now when he sat in an assembly after concluding an assembly bhagwan swami narayan himself asked bula bhagat how can you reach here how can you know about how can you know about me that i stay in bhuj and in particular this house then bula bhagat give reply uh, i have a brahmin uh, along the way with me and he indicate me this place and even he lead me from my village to here along the way and even not only that but he had given me food and water and he helped me in every way then bhagwan swami narayan himself asked about that brahmin where was that brahmin then bula bhagat say oh sorry i forgot him he had indicated me this house and then i even could not uh i even could not sense to ask him where would he go or anything then bhagwan swami narayan himself give uh, himself say to bula bhagat that that was that brahmin was no one but i myself i myself walking along the way with you then <coughs> then after bhagwan himself narrated and explained all the route they have taken at which place they stay for a nap and uh, where they stay for a night how they cross the rivers and how they cross the jungles everything bhagwan swami narayan narrated towards the uh, bula bhagat and that's why bula bhagat realized that that brahmin was no one but bhagwan swami narayan himself and in this way bula bhagat realized himself the most fortunate person in this world because bhagwan himself walking with him towards his own des- uh, towards his destination to bhagwan meaning bhagwan himself not only saw the way to bhagwan but he also helped in all the way to reach bhagwan re- reached up to the bhagwan and that is why bula bhagat realized himself the most fortunate in this world this is what the incident happened in a life of bula bhagat as well as we have earlier described the incident happened in a life of kala bhagat now this both incident have uh, written in 137 chapter of bhakta chintamani but this is only a half chapter the in another cha- uh, in another portion of the chapter Sadguru Nishkudanand Swami had described the another incident in life of some devotees but we will describe it later on after our youth sibir 2015 in Chicago now i think you all are ready for your loya dams got talent competition and you have already registered for the talent and you have also registered for youth sibit 2015 for chicago and now we will were eager to welcome you in chicago in a youth sibit 2015 okay we'll see you in chicago from 9 to 12 12 july sri ganesham maharaj ni j